We'll start with an RX FW560, a traditional nymph, size 10, and a uh, slotted tungsten, 3.2mm tungsten silver bead. So this is the lightning bug. Uh, apparently one of the best sold flies in the United States. It is a good pattern. When you're doing these slotted beads, if you put your tying thread in the slot and just wind around, there we go, it'll eventually tighten up and lock off. There we are. And then we just go back down the hook shank. Remove that. Then we need a cotillion tail so we just pull the fibers out so we level the tips like that pull them off measure the tail at an angle diagonally and when you tighten the tying thread it will pull it on top of the hook shank there we are and we go back And then we'll go once underneath the tail to splay it out like a fan. Tighten that up. Hold it in position. There we go. And then we can go back up. To about there. We can... Remove those. We want a slight taper on this body. I think it makes for a nicer nymph. So we just build that up a wee bit. You can tie this in lots of different colours, whatever you like, um, whatever works for you. So now I'm using some uh, UTC bright red wire for the rib. So I'm going to just tie this on the rear of the hook, like so. And then back down we want this nice and tight right into the tail base where we'll make our first turn of rib. That's good. Just put that out of the way. Then I'm using some hot orange holographic uh, male tinsel. I'm going to just tie this in at the tail base. I'm going to go up the hook shank. And when we get to there, I'll just fold that over and I'll secure that there just to build up that taper and to give it extra purchase. Go back up here and then we can take our holographic tinsel, tight neat turns up the body towards the thorax. Tie that off there. Go back nice and tight into the abdomen. Make sure your bead's always forward, otherwise, you can get a bit of a. You can be fooled by how long the thorax is going to be. So, and go to there and just give that a few winds. And we take our rib and we want to go the opposite way that we went with the tinsel, the holographic tinsel. And we go up the body like this and give it a little bit of extra weight at the head like that. Cross over. Go back to the abdomen and then we can remove this 
with friction. It's good. Another piece of holographic tinsel. And we'll just tack this in on top of the hook shank. This is for the wing case. And go back again. Doubled it over so you've got two pieces. That's good. There we are. A couple of peacock holes. Tie these in again, tight into the abdomen and go forward. Remove the back ends and a couple of turns over them just to tidy them up. And we'll take our peacock curl. build up a nice hurly abdomen here uh, th uh, thorax sorry over there like so that's looking good all oh, that's looking great we can remove these then if you've been using Coq de Leon you'll end up with a tip piece from a feather like this. What we do is we hold the tip and we want an equal amount each side just enough for the legs so I guess about there so once we've pulled all that back take your scissors um, snip that off bring them forward so it forms a V and we can take the first side and replace it there one turn just to hold it in position then we get the length we would like make one more turn Take hold of the next bunch of legs. And we'll tack those in again. Bring them to the same length. Couple of turns. Couple of turns under. And then we can remove these like so that's good then we take our wing case bring that over that and then on top of that we finish and this gives you a nice hot spot collar give it one more position the wings, the legs and the tail. There we are, got them. And 
there's the lightning bug. Fab little pattern. And if you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching.